Good morning. Um, thank you for sticking with me. I'm obviously still learning things. Uh, still having to figure out how I can photograph what my hands are doing while I'm working on something. But today I have something to talk about that doesn't involve actual handwork. And I'd like to talk about um, ego and quality. Okay, so a couple of years ago we had wood firing and one of the first things we got out of it was this. Okay. And I am tempted to say that this is one of the 10 best mugs made in North America in all of 2017. Kyla asked, so what do you think? And I said, I'm done. It'll never get better. You know, why, why keep trying? But of course, that's absurd. I mean, why pick North America? Where do you get them all together? On what basis are you evaluating them? What about this one? Well, this one's a 2019. But the point is, you have good mugs, you have wonderful mugs. I've seen a $20,000 mug. It wasn't gonna do anything to make the coffee taste better. You know, the woman holding it at the gallery got a bit of a thrill, the clerk, had, had a life-changing moment, hoping he, was, she, he wasn't going to watch her break it. Um, but at some level, you know, the mug pleases you, either as the maker or the user. Obviously, a bad mug leaks. A bad mug hurts the person using it. A bad mug may be an eyesore. Um, but, you know, be happy with what you have and understand how it improves with use or you learn about it through use, or your life is better because you have an above average mug. 